force uh, went two hours. Of, I thought good, clean hitting. Um, I thought the, both sides did some good things. Uh, we've got to look at the film tomorrow and find out where we need to make the adjustments. But we we'll talk about guys. It's pretty clean for, for a jersey scrimmage, pretty clean. Not too many turnovers. Uh, we had a couple offsides penalties, but all in all, I, I was very pleased at how the guys performed today. Can you give us an update on Danny Anther? You know, they're, they're still taking a look at it. It was his knee. Uh, I feel horrible for him. You know, the kids worked so hard and put himself in a position to be one of our guys. And uh, just, you know, you, your heart sinks when, when one of your guys goes down like that. So we'll find out here in the next 24 hours how bad it is. How do you feel about your wide receiver, wide receiver depth? Uh, with potentially losing two here in the last three days? Well, I, I still think we have a lot of guys uh, that will step up. Um, you saw number 80 step up and make a play for us, and he's got to help us, but uh, we'll be okay when we open up. It's in the offense from earlier in the week maybe took a step uh, in, the, in the right direction. Uh, I, I think they managed the clock well, all but two or three plays. I thought they... Uh, they moved the ball and, and understood the situations they were in and were able to come out of the, the one offense I'm talking about. They understood the situations they were in and were able to get themselves out of those situations. It looked like Brandon Cottom mm -hmm. could be made the number two yeah. out of this. Yeah, that's what we wanted to see, how well he carried the ball. And, and uh, he certainly showed some things from this advantage. We'll take a look tomorrow on the film and see if uh, if he indeed is that guy that could be the number two for us. After, after two weeks, uh, go ahead. Dawkins continues to kind of impress. Oh, yeah. He's You're getting him more work with the ones. Yeah, he, he's special. I mean, he's got he's got that quick twitch fiber in, in tight spaces that can give you some some uh, heartache as a defense missing you in the hole. So uh, uh, he's going to be he'll, he'll play for us. After two weeks, is your quarterback situation clearing up for you? We'll make a decision on the quarterback uh, probably tomorrow or uh, Monday. Did today make it easier or harder on you with your decision there at the quarterback? Uh, we'll make it decision on Sunday <laughs> or Monday on the quarterback decision. Uh, what do you think of the large crowd here today for the scrimmage? Oh, it's always great to have our fans out here. We love our fans, and uh, you know we want to give them a great product on the field, and that's what it's all about. And then can you talk about the mixing and matching? There's different guys moving up and down. Some play two, some play the one. Well, today was about finding out who your guys are. Uh, we wanted to set the 20, top 22 on both sides of the ball and, and see who emerged. And, uh, I think we'll have a pretty good idea after we study the film here as a staff here in a couple hours. Penalties were still a problem today. You talk about the discipline, how much better that probably should be right now. Yeah, we had a couple off, off sides on coming off the goal. That's the same. It's the same situation that we talked about before. Uh, I can't tell you what it is, but uh, it's the same situation. <laughs> the physical nature of, of the offense. Are you pleased with where you guys are playing? Very, very much so. That's one thing that I can positively tell you that we came off the field and became a much more that's what you need to be in this, in this conference. Just change, training camp in general, you know, now it's wrapped. I mean, what did you get accomplished and what did you want? Well, obviously we wanted to be a tougher, more physical football team, take care of the ball, and uh, come together as a team. And I think we've accomplished most of that. Of the guys who were out today, you expect most of them back, aside from maybe Danny and Dan? By game one? Uh, Bruce will be back. Who else is out? I can't even remember who's out. Devin. Devin, Devin Smith. Devin will, Devin will be close. He'll be close. He'll be that uh, maybe Monday, Tuesday of game week. And uh, Gilliam? Uh, Gilliam, same thing. Um, they're going to remove the pin next week, and then it's how long it takes for that thing to heal. How long do you anticipate Monterosso being out? Uh, probably six, six weeks. Uh, he had surgery this morning, and it's fixed, uh, so he's on the mend. Will you make a decision at that point whether to, to yeah. think about redshirting him or, or try to get him back in there? Well, it all depends. It, it's, it's hard to say how great a shape he's in at that yeah. point in time, and uh, we'll just take it day by day. B.J. Knopf has been pretty outstanding. Is he looking like one of your uh, first wide receivers? He's had a really good camp, and uh, he's explosive with the ball in his hands. He's tough. He plays fast. He's, uh, he's certainly emerged as one of our top three or four guys on the offense. You like the offensive line and, and how physical it's being? Very pleased with those guys today. They were they looked tired at times, but they fought through it, which you need to do. Uh, and I thought they picked up some of the blitzes pretty well. Coach, week two, you have an in-state rival in Indiana State. Just I know it's kind of a you know FCS school and not really that big on the schedule, but it's still they've got a pretty good running back that you care about. Just talk about that game a little bit. Um, we're, we've got to play Cincinnati first, and that's all I care about right now. <laughs> Anything else?